Hello everyone, my name is Zombie878, and in this video, I'm not going to be making anything, I'm just going to be explaining the new collision detection volume um, that just came out for Circuits V2. It may be a bit confusing at first, but once you mess around with it a little bit, you'll understand. So if you um, turn on beta content and go over to circuits, you're going to notice the collision detection volume, which I spawned right here. I kind of just scaled it up a little bit. So that's how you spawn it in. You'll configure the settings. So in the update video, I was talking about detect when stationary. So if you notice, whenever I turn on detect when stationary, it's going to make noise when it detects an object. Well, that is if I turn it on, let me just quickly enable it. Yeah, you see how it does that? If I even go and edit into the circuit, you're going to notice that um, this one will also go off because it's any hit. But the object hit goes off because it's in an object when it's stationary. But if I turn off stationary, you're going to notice that it doesn't do anything till I start moving the trigger volume. And then it will actually start making that noise. Little, uh neat ding so if you're gonna have a moving trigger volume there you go i'd rather have that on detect when stationary you have the tags to ignore so basically if i give this the tag of one to ignore and let's say i give the ground a tag of one it is not going to activate the object um event receiver inside it so if i move this down here now you're going to notice that because this one is not activating and it's ignoring this object okay that's annoying uh let me just disconnect that so now you notice that because i have it ignoring an object with a tag of one it is ignoring this and this is not going off. The any hit's going to go off any time because it's just any hit, anything. The other hit is when it detects objects that aren't being ignored. So, for example, if I was ignoring a certain tag like I am now, this will go off. But you see, if I immediately turn off the ignore the one tag, you're going to notice that instead of the other hit going off, you're, I mean, it's still going off probably because I still have it connected to the object. But you notice how this is still going on. So let me go ahead and do that. Put it back there. Maybe that will change it. Yeah, as you see, it needs to update. So if you do change the ignore tags, make sure to pull it out the object and put it back in or otherwise just save your room and it should happen. But anyway, I am going to um, make it ignore the tag of one. Actually, you know, I'm not going to have it ignore the tag one. I'm just going to bring it off the ground so we stop hearing that noise. Okay, let's go over some other settings. Uh, let me do this real quick and just get rid of this. So, run only for Doherty. You already know that. Only runs for the person that's a 40. Spawn impact decals. Um, I don't see that. Um, I, I, I should have got on my PC to show if that would happen. You got the row restrictions, creation, you know, all your basic stuff. But what I really wanted to explain was the difference between all of these because I was kind of confused about the other hit, any hit, object hit, and player hit. The player hit is whenever a player is inside it. 
a object hit is whenever an object is inside it well if you're not ignoring the tag if you are ignoring the tag then the on other hit will be the one that actually plays and then you got on any hit which will play whether it will just play even when the other ones play and you also got to enable or disable the um actual volume for it to actually work you can also impulse players real nice if you want to change how long it impulses and where you could always change uh where is it request velocity set over duration i think that's what that's connected to oh no that's the one connected to that Okay, yeah, it's this one if you want to change that. So this would be useful for something like if you wanted to make a health zone and a damage zone. Like, let's say this is a health zone right here. I know I don't got nothing set up. If you want me to set it up, though, get 10 likes on this video and I will make a video about it. But imagine this is a health zone. If I was standing here... It would actually heal me up and if i was standing in a damage zone it would damage me while i'm standing in it the thing is besides a regular trigger volume this activates faster and um you don't need no chips to tell uh, that the person is constantly in it which was annoying for a lot of maps with a lot of maps you would have to do a trigger volume get players and stuff but here, you just stand in it, and as long as you're in it, it's updating 30 hertz a second. And if you get out of it, it is going to stop updating, and yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, and you want more videos of me explaining stuff, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.